Hi, I'm Maya and I love to read. Today, I want to read a book called Tightrope Poppy, the Highwire Pig. Every day, the pigs would play and wallow, slow and sloppy. They rolled in muck and blessed their luck, except for one named Poppy. Poppy was the kind of pig who loved big top dramatics. The clowns in cars, the juggling stars, the daring acrobatics. Dreaming of the Circus Of all the things in circus rings that Poppy did admire, what made her beam her secret dream was always the high wire. So Poppy practiced all the time on fences and on railings. She crept along and hummed a song and never thought of failing. When Poppy walked to town one day, she saw a circus flyer. Come volunteer, we'll train you here to walk on the high wire. She grabbed the flyer and she squealed. I'll be a star in no time. She headed back to plan and pack and told her mom, it's showtime. Then Poppy called farewell to all and left the farmyard humming. She twirled her tail and hit the trail. Watch out, Big Top, I'm coming. A circus dog? No, that is fine. But have you heard of circus swine? At Zig E. Zaley's Big Top Tent, the show was just beginning. They did, in fact, need tightrope acts. Take me, said Poppy, grinning. Though Zig agreed that she'd succeed, he warned her, slow and steady. But Poppy laughed, I know my craft. I know that I am ready. Well, Zig just frowned. He made no sound. As Poppy climbed the spire, with bursting pride, she took a stride and stepped out on the wire. Dun, 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 dun. And plop, she dropped. <gasps> the crowd gasps. No. no one spoke or made a joke. The crowd stood stunned and gaping. Her face went red, and Poppy fled, her thoughts of were escaping. When Zig proclaimed, don't be ashamed, poor Poppy felt no better. Her pride was bruised and all confused. She emailed Mom a letter. I'm no star, let's not pretend. I tried. I failed. No more. The end. My dearest Poppy, Mom replied, I know you're sad and crying. You can't lose heart on one bad start. Some dreams take lots of trying. Poppy read and scratched her head and weighed what Mom was saying. The words felt right. But the late at night, she knew that she'd be staying. Poppy walked back to the tent. Her tummy was still churning. She raised her snout and shouted out, I'm here to do some learning. Balance, focus, straighten spine. Practice makes a tightrope swine. Zig suggested tippy toes. 
That might just be the answer. It started swell, but when she fell, she landed on a dancer. She would not quit, and bit by bit, her footsteps grew more steady. The weeks they passed, until at last, Zig told her she was ready. Poppy crept beneath the steps. Above the tightrope towered, she bit her tongue and climbed the rungs. She would not be a coward. She stood up tall, above it all. She heard her tummy rumble. Though full of dread, she inched ahead until she took a tumble. Oh no, not again. The circus crowd grew still and hushed when Poppy started flopping. She hit the net and broke a sweat, but cried, this time no stopping. She climbed the spire once again. Poor Poppy's head was whirling. She stepped and stepped and stepped and stepped. And then... She started twirling. She lunged into a somersault. She'd never risen higher. With one last spin and one huge grin, she conquered the high wire. Wow! Then every night beneath the lights, she was the main attraction. Her tightrope skill gave such a thrill, she got a huge reaction. So Poppy wrote another note to ask her mom to visit. I reached the heights you said I might. It's never easy, is it? I did not quit. Now I'm a hit. I've sent a brand new flyer. By Poppy's head, the letters read, The Star of the High Wire. Come see the show. Our star is big. Her name is Poppy, Tightrope Pig. The End Poppy fell so many times off the high wire, even in front of a big crowd. Yikes! But she still kept trying, and practicing and trying and practicing and trying, until she finally got it. She could even do flipsies. Have you ever been to the circus? I once have. I saw lions, tigers, and a few elephants. But no pigs so far. If you like this book, make sure you check out my other videos. Bye!